Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to add a search bar to WordPress Bloxy. All right, so we have here a Bloxy starter site loaded up. And in a previous video, we changed our logo here. And on our header here, we don't have any search bar or search icon. So let's go ahead and add one real quick. Let's go ahead and click on Customize. And that should take us to the WordPress Customizer. All right, once we're here on the left-hand side, let's click on Header. And you can see all the elements that we can add to our header. So you can see here, we have search and search box. These are two different things. Search is just, well, an icon, right? Alternatively, we can add a search box. And there it is. Now, once we click on this widget here, we can put, um, we can change the placeholder text. We can change the width. We can change the height. We can also change the icon. So if we don't want it to be search, we can um, click, uh, we can choose something else like this book one. Or if we had a um, web shop, we can have this cart here and then find stuff to buy, right? We can have that be our Search one, we can also have live results and we can have live results images and then products and so on and so forth. So if we were to type here, power bank, right? We can see, oops, we can see that we have things that load up here. We can also sort them out by category and we can also, um, like in this case where we wanted only to search through products, we can change this to select only products and power bank. And here we have our products only. Okay. And we can choose to enable or disable that on our, uh, the filter is at least on desktop and mobile. And we can also change the design here. We can, we can remove this. And when our default state will be red, for the icon, and when you hover over it, it turns a different color. Um, we can change our background color to white, and we can also change the border radius to, let's say, 15 on all. And you can see it's round now. You can also add a margin there, and you can also change the font and the text. So there's how you add a search bar. Let's click Publish and see how it appears. All right, here we have the unmodified site. Let's hit refresh. And we now have a search bar to find things. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.